Okay. So, going to talk about the basic to intermediate uses of blending modes, from the default normal, sketching and line arts, to glitch effects, to the basic uses of component blending modes. And this would be quite a long tutorial, and I apologize now in advance. Okay, so let's get started. Let's check this out first, because we will be using blending modes on these areas. We are going to be talking about the default blending mode, which is normal. We mainly use this for sketching, line arts, and base colors. And we're also going to be talking about the other possible ways that we could use this for. We're also going to talk about shadows, which are main shadow, occlusion, then we have half tones, or like gradient shadows, this is optional. Then we have core shadow, we use this for extreme light setting, like this gigantic stand right here. And we will be using darken blending modes on this area. Then we go to lightings, which are the center of light basically the glow from this light source then we also have SSS or subsurface scattering which is basically just a stronger and detailed version of center of light and of course our highlights you know and do this these are the sharp and hard pure lights we will be using lighting blending modes on this area and we also have this shadow right here since we have this light source there should be a shadow here on the ground and this are cast shadow we will talk about these things and how i use them where to use them what blending mode to use on them can you use other blending modes and so on these are all optional it's not necessarily needed but it wouldn't hurt to know you don't have to use all the blending modes as well we will also tackle some other stuff like contrast blending modes and their basic uses and also the least used blending modes which is probably the component blending modes and okay so this is too much for an intro so let's start okay so let's start first with the default blending mode which is normal we do a lot of things in normal blending mode we sketch we do line art then base colors Coloring is also doable here. I see that like it's such a foreign thing because it is for me I've never colored or shaded anything in normal blending mode, but I tried doing it here So here's everything that it's on normal From the base to the shadows to the face and the clothes The only thing that I find it hard to achieve here is the glow I'm not very good at that, but basically normal blending mode is like traditional coloring You have to blend everything yourself you have to be wary of the layering of course because blending modes won't help you you don't put the line art here under the colors it won't blend and with shading clothes the skin is always under the clothing layers for easier shading and okay so this line art here is on normal coloring is on normal all of these folders are in normal basically everything is normal what else can we do in normal blending mode? Let's talk about placing matte paintings or pre-made backgrounds. You can make your own or you can choose from Clip Studio's asset library. Just expand the menu here. Let's go to downloads, go to materials, and just choose the background that you want. These are free by the way. So, well, of course, some are paid, but this one I have here are free. These are the official Clip Studio assets just click and drag it to your canvas fix your layering and now we have a pre-made background what's good about this background are these are all super high quality you can zoom it in and they won't pixelate so for now let's make a navigator first because i'm getting dizzy and there we go mm -hmm. now we go back here with our pre-made background selected Let's zoom it in, click it and scale it up, move it to the angle or portion that you want. I want it somewhere like here, like near the window with the light from outside coming in. And okay, now you can see our pre-made background is on. Let's move this for a bit. Okay, so the pre-made background is on normal. Can you see 
the the background is kind of sharp so let's blur that just for a little bit and so right click that layer and where is it let's right click duplicate layer now click that duplicated background right click rasterize so make sure you're on the rasterized duplicated background let's go to filter blur gaussian blur and let's just blur it on a small amount just enough to blur those sharp details then click ok when you're done so this is before and this is after still it's on normal okay so what else can we do mm, let's add correction layers let's go to layer new correction layer and let's choose tone curves let's click ok for now fix the layering you want the tone curves to affect everything okay now let's access that tone curves again and double click the correction layer and let's make the s editing let's make it an s and just click ok when you're done remember that you can apply this this one clip to layer below once applied only the layer below will be affected the layer after that won't get affected but in my case i want everything affected by the correction so let's disable that and everything is now being affected by the correction layer what else can we do let's add a core shadow but let's do that without using multiply let's make everything on normal blending mode so first grab your lasso and select the areas you want to have the core shadow now now let's go to layer new correction layer let's choose level correction this time we're going to drag this bright or light slider to the right going to the left because everything on the left is the dark side basically what we're doing is changing the overall brightness of the image since we have a selection only the area is getting affected by the level correction and it and it looks like shadow so click ok when you're done now let's arrange these layers properly i want this core shadow under this correction layer and i want it clip to the layer below so that only the character is getting affected by the shadow okay so now that you can see the shadows are way too sharp so let's click this mask icon of the level correction grab your airbrush make sure your color is on white and just start smoothing it out brushing it brushing out the edges basically just draw it out again and that's it if you want to access the level correction again just double click to edit you can make it darker or make it lighter okay everything is on normal correction layers on normal pre-made backgrounds and also the drawing itself is on normal let's go to the next topic we will talk about the other blending modes and their common uses